This is a video covering the installation of the Steeda G-Track K-Member Brace. Some tools you'll need are half inch ratchet, half inch torque wrench, 22 millimeter wrench, 22 millimeter socket, 12 millimeter hex bit, and I needed uh, pry bars to get, a, get the final bolt in, and a hammer, and uh, put on safety goggles just to be safe. <laughs> So I have the Steeda Extreme G-Track K-Member brace that I'm going to throw on here. Um, it should be pretty easy. Now I know what you're thinking. Why did he have to say something like that? Should be pretty easy. Should be pretty easy. Should be pretty easy. Should be pretty easy. Rule number one, don't start a project saying this is going to be easy. I noticed uh, there's a slight difference in uh, the video for CJ Pony Parts. I don't know what, I'm not sure what year they uh, did the install on, um, but this is a 2019 and one difference is, okay, right here. Um, uh, I don't know if you can see, I sh should have a light, hold on. The one difference is right up in here, um, there's, uh, you can see that the hole goes right through, you can see, um, you can see my phone shining through there, um, whereas the install that they did had, um, there was like some threads up there where it would thread into uh, something. So that is one slight difference. And that's on the uh, the front here. Uh, here, looking back, uh, we got to fish uh, some spacers in here and throw a bolt up in there and do the same thing on the other side over here. And then it gets threaded or another bolt goes up in here and up in here where I just showed. So right away, just with this first part, the spacer that's supposed to go inside the frame, I'm already having a problem. Uh, trying to get it in and it's just not going in. So instead, uh, I figured I'd go to the other side here and try and get the spacer in on the driver's side and see how well that goes. And that was significantly easier. It just went right in like it was supposed to. No problem. Just lining it up here uh, to get it so it's uh, lined up with the hole. And that was it. So one, two, three, that one's done. Get back to this one and it just, it doesn't want to go in. All right, let's stop it right there and get to the part where I show you why this piece is not going in. So, here's my problem. 
already. Uh, I can get my arm in here. There is a tab. right there in the hole um probably from almost probably from the hole itself it was probably punched out and the tab is up there um so this this whole piece whatever that's punched out for um that seems like the tab is probably right up in there and the same thing on the hole above I don't even know if you'll be able to see it. Um, the tab, I think, is downward. So I think maybe we need to kind of punch those tabs out. All right. So what I'm trying to do is bend these tabs um, the opposite way Oop. and I think I got one of them off I don't know where it went it's in there someplace um, but they're a little they were easier to bend than I thought they would be so somewhere in here there's a tab I don't know I don't know where it is but let's try to get the other one off. Uh, all I did was take some needle nose pliers and uh, kind of wiggle it. And it came loose. It's a little bit hard. The top one was easy to do, but doing the bottom one, getting to it, it was a little bit more difficult because things in the way. I don't even, I can't feel where it is here. You just kind of want to push it a little bit. Oh, I think it's moving. Oh, here we go. Oh, here. Let's see, now it's there. You can see it. Uh, you can see it moving there. It's still connected. But if I just wiggle it back and forth, there it goes. Um, so that's definitely just, that wasn't supposed to be there. It's not there on the other side. So let's see if I can get it out through this bigger hole here. Yeah, here it comes. And there it is. All right, so that's, that's what was blocking me from getting uh, this piece in here sorry for the camera being sideways i'm not even sure which way i'm facing right now upside down sideways whatever i don't know all right so that was blocking me from getting this in there um the other side went in really easy um that's that's already in there um but this side wasn't going in and i wasn't sure why until i started feeling around in there and uh just help that those tabs those I would like to get the other one that I got out. I'd like to get it out of there so it's not swimming around inside here as I'm driving around. Driving around. Uh, I think I got it. All right. So, can I get this other one out? Oh, there it is. Oh. There's the other one. All right. So, 
That was an unforeseen issue and was kind of a pain, but. Uh, all right, let's continue. Now, we should be able to get this in here, no problem. Hopefully. Why is it still st stuck on something? I think it's just a tight fit. I think this is, ugh. It's kind of like punched up. Somebody just threw an acorn at me. So I'm just gonna try and there's like a lip. I'm just gonna try and bend it down a little bit. See if we can get this started. Get a bolt. side with my foot okay so that's one piece one side up I should have had the bolts closer let's get the other side up the alignment on it is a little off. That sounds good. Like the sound of things going through the holes. All right. Three out of four. Let's see how this one goes. This one is a good quarter of an inch off.
So I need something to push this over. One second. that in there okay so hopefully that will give me enough leverage to get that up in there on the road in no time. Alright, so I cut out a lot of footage of me trying to get this last uh, piece aligned so the bolt would go through. I probably spent about 15-20 minutes trying different ways of using a, just the pry bar alone to, to get it to line up, but couldn't get it to work. So um, I grabbed a pretty big screwdriver and um, used that as a wedge. Um, and then also using the pry bar um, to, to try and get it aligned perfectly. And right now I already have the bolt kind of snugged into the piece of uh, the K member. So, um, it's, it's, as you saw before, it kept falling out and, uh, I got pretty pissed. So, I, uh, I got it kind of so it was wedged up in there into the K member. So it's already in there and just, now I had a few taps with the hammer and that was it. Finally in. Jesus. Also, I just want to add that you see that I threw on some glasses, um, when I was prying, try, when I was prying the, uh, the bar over, uh, there was like little shards or something that was falling down like on my face and uh, last thing you want is to get a piece of metal in your eye. Two rear pieces here uh, use the 22 millimeter wrench and the 22 millimeter socket with half inch drive. And then uh, the two front ones use the 12 millimeter hex bit and a 22 millimeter wrench.
All right. So there it is. Installed, except I'll have a half inch torque wrench. So I just snugged them up for now. And uh, I'm gonna run out and get a, I'm gonna run out and get a, either an adapter or a half inch uh, torque wrench. Half inch is probably good to have. So I went out and I got the half inch torque wrench and all I'm doing now is going around to all four bolts. Uh, I only recorded me doing one of the bolts, but you guys get the point. You go around to all four bolts and torque them down to 55 to 60 pounds and and you're good to go. Uh, so, if you all found this video helpful and you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you want to say something, have any suggestions, leave me a comment. And uh, if you're interested in what I'm doing next, please subscribe. Uh, I would greatly appreciate it. And uh, my next video is going to be doing a full review of how this feels when driving and cornering. So, please stay tuned. Thank you all for watching. Where's that click? There it is. And we're done.